If you think that Moscow's Kremlin is fancy, wait till you meet Moscow's ultra-rich. They live cushy lives and are spending their money with complete ease. On what, you ask? Watch the video till the end to get your answer. According to Forbes, in 2021, Russia's billionaires went up from 83 to 117, with a collective net worth of $583.9 billion. Among them is Alexei Mordashov, the current richest man in Russia, who, according to the Forbes annual billionaires list, has a net worth of $30 billion and lives in one of Moscow's most wealthy suburbs, Barvika. He's an active investor and philanthropist, donating over 50 million US dollars each year through his company Zieverstahl. And wait till you hear about his yacht. Valued at $55 million, Mordashov's yacht, called Lady M, is almost a celebrity in itself. Opulently decorated, the Lady can hold up to 12 people on deck with a 14-member crew as well. Talk about luxury. Following Mordashov in his luxury is Vladimir Potanin, with a net worth of $27 billion, according to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index. This is thanks to his 34.6% share in Norisk Nickel, Russia's top metals and mining company. Potanin comes from old money and is known for his luxurious lifestyle, including a home that was one of Moscow's first executive flats that included a restaurant, sauna, gym, billiards room, cafeteria, swimming pool, salon, and even a winter garden and guarded ski run. He's also a collector of luxury mega yachts and has been the former owner of Anastasia and Barbara, which were sold to other ultra-rich people of the world. He currently owns Nirvana, a 289-foot-long yacht with a 10-foot-deep plunge pool and luxury interiors decorated with teak, woven bronze, and silks. The yacht comes with its own massage room, steam room, sauna, gym, and an on-deck jacuzzi. Imagine going on a vacation on that! And last on our list is Vladimir Lysin, who's worth $23.6 billion. One of the richest Russians in the world, he also happens to be the owner and resident of the 3,000-acre estate of Aberuchil Castle in Scotland. Lysin's list of assets also includes the usual, a luxury yacht Socrat, and a private jet called Bombardier Global 5000 that has a list price of 50 million US dollars. Well, at least we know where he's been spending his money. But enough with the rich guys. Let's talk about the places they spend their money, including the luxurious houses these ultra-rich oligarchs live in. We already mentioned the silk and teak wood yachts, right? But if only their yachts are decorated with such luxury, can you even imagine the homes they must live in? In Moscow, you'll find these ultra-rich billionaires living in exclusive suburbs like Rubilyavka, Bervika, and Zhukovka which are filled with modern, contemporary, and even old-school residencies that can take your breath away with their opulence. One of these residencies is the Villa Zhukovska, a house that spans over 13,000 square feet and is set in the confines of a country forest site. The house has double-height living spaces with an atmosphere that exudes exclusivity and luxury. It consists of the main building, a separate pool house, a garage unit, which, get this, has personal use, and music rooms. That's a whole other level of rich, guys. And that's not just it. The house is a glimpse of true elite luxury in Russia, with its monolithic reinforced concrete frames, decorative bricks, natural wood facades, and floor-to-ceiling picture frame windows. Yeah, that's a whole different world. And this is just one of the houses we've described. The super-rich gazillionaires in this neighborhood have the most coveted living spaces, including their own spas, theaters, velveteen sofas, marble-adorned kitchens, and even personal aircraft propellers. The houses in these suburbs are valued at hundreds of millions of dollars. And the most expensive ones aren't even advertised, so they can be sold within exclusive circles of old money families. So, not for us regular folks? Okay. The rich in Moscow may have the most beautiful homes, but the luxury hotels in the city take their splendor up a notch. First off is the Ritz-Carlton in Moscow, whose dramatic architecture and lavish lounges scream money at every step. With the finest rooms in town, the Russian Ritz also has the most beautiful Japanese gardens that are a view to behold from their mahogany-furnished rooms. Then. We have the Hotel Bucharest, which dates back to 1989 and was designed by architect Alexander Ivanov. 
While the hotel has been majorly refurbished from the inside, its original facade remains with marble columns and floors, oozing elegance and class on every level. And last, we have the Metropole Hotel. Built in the 1890s with an Art Nouveau stucco, custom-made sculptures, and oil paintings from the 18th and 19th centuries. This hotel is a luxury find, with stained glass windows and lavish suites, some of which boast a great view of the Kremlin. We can imagine our crazy rich Russians in these crazy rich hotels, but where do they enjoy their meal times? Well, in some of the most luxurious restaurants in the world, of course. Do not underestimate the luxuries of Moscow, because this city is home to some of the most elite restaurants in the world. First on our list is Café Pushkin, that's designed to recreate the feel of a 19th century aristocrat's house. With its pre-revolution Russian atmosphere and excellent vodka selection, the popularity of this restaurant requires reservations way in advance. Another popular spot for ultra-rich Russians is the Buono, on the 29th floor of the Radisson Royal Hotel. The restaurant is decked in soft cream hues with extravagant views that are super popular among its diners. The place serves classic Italian food by chef William Lamberti, who is known across Europe for this fine dining excellence. Moscow also has some hip spaces for its super rich, including the O2 Lounge that's called one of the best places to see and be seen. Well, that's billionaire lingo right there. The O2 Lounge is half stylish seafood restaurant and half trendy pre-club hangout. We talked about architectural wonders in Moscow's hotels, right? But even their malls are decked with those. Take Moscow's GUM, or GUM, for instance. This luxury mall is a visual stunner and home to high-end boutiques including Dior, Chanel, Cartier, and more. Gum is a historic wonder built in the 1980s, and its facade speaks of that era pretty clearly. The mall also has the best views of the Red Square from its glass-roofed arcade and society-style eateries, which is why it's a frequent visit for the ultra-rich of the city. Then there's TSUM. Built in 1908, this gothic-style store sells over a thousand famous brands, including Alexander McQueen, Lanvin, and Carolina Herrera. There's also the Svetnoy Central Market that's known for the brands it sells, including Walk of Shame, American Apparel, All Saints, and Vivian Westwood. The mall has also been awarded multiple design accolades and is frequently home to Moscow's biggest indoor farmer's market. We love the super cool feel of these malls, don't you? That's a wrap for this video. If you were an ultra-rich oligarch, how would you spend your money? Would you give it to charities or just hoard your wealth? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.